And now, a Zone at 91.3, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is the first of a two-part sequel to 2018's Into the Spider-Verse, chronicling the story of Miles Morales. While I'm always hesitant to overhype a film and potentially get your expectations out of whack, Across the Spider-Verse is quite a must-see. While it seems like it would be an impossible task to top the first film in terms of both story creativity and animation ingenuity, the sequel definitely levels up. The blend of different animation styles is once again brilliant. The sequel adds in elements of watercolor and acrylic paint, also using half tones, blends of 2D and 3D, animated elements at different frame rates, and so much more. It's difficult to take in all of these different styles at once, but that's not a negative and was in no way a distraction from the film's story. In fact, it very much makes me want to watch the film again, probably paying for another ticket to watch it on the big screen so that I can pick up on things I missed the first time around. And the main reason I didn't find the artwork distracting is because it was very much used to reinforce a scene's emotional impact. The complexity of the story is incredibly impressive in that the narrative is layered with these overlapping arcs, but because these arcs complement each other, the film was never difficult nor was it ever a chore to follow. And the pacing was spot on, with full tilt action scenes followed by emotional, tension building dialogue during the quieter scenes. I actually completely lost track of time during the film and halfway through completely forgot that the story was a two-parter. The third film, Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse, is expected to be released in March of next year, which is enough time for me to get in about a dozen or so rewatches of the first two. Cut! That's a wrap!